Hi everyone, um, great to see you and thank you for the opportunity. So I'm Atimatia Hinome. I'm a part of, I'm a PhD student at um, Strat SDRA and um, I'm here to present the shared spectrum opportunities for in Nigeria. This is the next slide. So basically, um, Nigeria is a, is a big country um, with a large ma uh, land mass. We have over 203 million people and um, 95% of those people are above or below the age of 60 years, meaning we are the digital age. And 100 million of those people actually live in rural areas as predicted by um, UN. That number is just practically going to be that way for a number of years. And for me, I see an opportunity for shared spectrum in this space, because if shared spectrum can provide affordable internet access in rural areas, it therefore means that it's the way to go. With the level number of people we have, it's a good, for me, I think there's a good business case. As of this year, we have, 40, according to NCC, that's the Nigerian Communication um, Commission, we had a 40% broadband penetration. Putting it in context, it means that we still have about 121 million people in Nigeria who have zero inter access to the internet or poor access. That means they probably have two, 2G um, cellular network present in their area and can probably just make a phone call or send a text message. But I see an opportunity here because this is a huge market. And if one thing Nigeria is known for is the large market share that they have in any business that comes into the country. So far, we have two major um, technologies that actually provide internet access. The three, um, three cellular networks basically is what actually covers the whole of the country. So we have 3Gs and 4, 3G and 4G rolled out all over the country, sparsely. And um, the entire coverage of the country, of like I said, the initial rollout of cellular cellular networks, I think in, in the early 2000s was for 2G. And so you have the whole country covered with 2G and you have some upgrades in some regions of the country. The problem with cellular networks, despite the incentives that have been provided by the government is the fact that they are really expensive to deploy in the country. And as such, you have low usage of the coverage. So despite the fact that there's coverage, very few people actually make use or a lower number of people make use can afford it. And to some extent, it's really, it can be unreliable, even with the provision of Wi-Fi to serve as an off road for cellular networks. Um, the next slide, please. A quick, to put this, all these numbers in context is to just see that all the places that are colored in this map, this is a map of Nigeria, do not have access to the internet or have poor access to the internet. So the issue of actually rural connectivity is a really big issue in Nigeria. And despite the push of trying to um, expand penetration using just the cellular network, it has not really given as much um, results over the number of years that a lot of investments have been put in. So the prospect for shared spectrum again is, um, or the possibility of combining technologies to make provision for rural connectivity is so, so, so important. Next slide, please. And if the numbers and the, and the, and the pictures do not actually give a clearer picture. Let me just zero in on just um, shared spectrum. Oh, sorry, let me zero in on what happened during the pandemic with, uh, pertaining to just one use case of internet access, which is e-education. A lot of schools were shut down during um, the pandemic and there was zero education for those who were in um, government, uh, uh, government schools. So all those in government schools from primary, from primary down to university were out of school through, for close to one year, meaning some of them actually lost a year out of their life, not learning anything. So that's the real impact. But I still see, as I said before, an opportunity and the government is working hard towards um, increasing rural connectivity. They have decided to diversify last mile um, connectivity. And they have, they, in their 2020, uh, 2020 broadband plan, there's a mention of shared spectrum, the use of shared spectrum, a combination of technologies to be able to cover rural areas. So I think the focus in Nigeria right now is to find a way of expanding the connectivity and increasing connectivity in rural areas, because it's really a big issue that we have been working on for a very long time. Um, and it, in 2019 to 2020, we rolled out a civil white space policy draft to just give us give an opportunity for us to have shared spectrum technologies being adopted in Nigeria. Um, there has been a massive migration, actual application uh, implementation of migration from um, um, digital migration of um, broadcasting um, uh, broadcasting um, networks. Uh, that's television broadcasting from 
normal analog televisions to digital television. There's, there's a talk of 5G launch in 2022, but this is still in the urban areas, which for, in my opinion, the focus should be on rural, rural connectivity. And if it were to all we have shown today, or the fact that it's possible to actually have 5G providing rural connectivity, then I think is a way forward for us. Um, they have been talking on using satellite communications too, in combination of shared spectrum and actually creating um, last mile delivery of internet access. So um, in a nutshell, or in a recap, there's a huge market for shared spectrum in Nigeria. Government is really willing to diversify the end uh, last mile delivery of internet access, and there's increased demand. I mean, there are, the use cases is phenomenal in Nigeria, and abundant um, opportunities for shared spectrum in Nigeria. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Mm.